Okay, let's uh, show you some examples of what these threads look like when you're finished. I'm freehand wrapping and uh, we're going to start with the tiger thread or what I know as classic twist. Do our standard lock over. Missed it. Three or four turns, tighten up. Trim the excess off. Put in our loop. cut the excess off. Now we have a finish wrap or what I know is classic twist size A. Next to the A thread we're going to use um, a thread by Goodabrod called Trimar which is a, a, a twist created by Metallic Mylar and their C size thread. So let's just put those together, put the locking threads on to Three, four, five, tighten up. Trim off the excess tag. And off we go again to get enough distance in. Short piece of loop. Place it in, take up the pressure again and continue winding. Desired length, finger on to maintain tension. Snip the thread, thread tail through the loop. through. And there we have the blue and gold next to the brown and black. Right, moving on, we're now going to look at uh, a very form of thread that's called variations. And as you can see on the spools, uh, one looks like red, white and blue, and the other is two or three shades of green. And I'm going to work with red, white and blue. Locking thread, one, two, three, just sliding it up tight against the blue and gold work we've already completed.
snip the main thread, tag end through, it doesn't actually say what size this thread is, this variation thread, but working with it, it feels like a C thread. It's slightly thinner than the uh, blue and gold, but there again the twist uh, created by the Marla will, will pack out the blue and gold, that, that bit thicker. <laughs> 